What's going on here guys? I just want to do an update on the 2023 NASCAR group build. I got started on my first kit a couple of weeks ago um, on February 5th. And the first one that I chose to do was the Salvino Jr. Uh, models Pontiac Le Mans. This is the Davy Allison number 23 Miller car. I uh, got a lot done uh, over the last uh, couple of weeks. Take out the body. Uh, it's been prepped, painted, uh, cleared. Turned out pretty good. That's ready for decals. We got the chassis. It's uh, it's all painted, ready to go. And I got most of the parts uh, done, except for the wheels and the air cleaner. Uh, those need painted yet, and there's a couple little details that I need to go in and uh, take care of, but for the most part, I'm going to say it's about 98% painted and uh, ready to go. And, you know, for me, NASCAR kits are like potato chips or beer. You just can't eat one or drink one beer. So... I did the right thing and I decided to start another one and we got I figured you know why not go ahead with the uh, the theme here and do Bobby's Miller High Life Buick so a little father and son combo there and we can see we got the that body is also ready to go. Painted, cleared. It's ready for decals. And we got here's some more of the uh, more of the pieces uh, painted. We got the chassis. It's ready to go. Uh, I got the engine and um, a few other things left to uh, finish painting. And then that one will be uh, ready uh, to put together. Uh, we got got the tires to do yet. Um, I'm going to just do all the tires at once. You know, sand them. I got a little, uh, little jig that I made, you know, that I put in my cordless drill makes uh, sanding the tires a hell of a lot easier. Uh, so I'll just do all them at once. And also, I decided to get started on a third one. And that's a Monte Carlo. Um, it's been painted. There's no clear on it because I'm not 100% certain, but I think I'm going to continue with the Allison and the Miller theme. I know Bobby drove a few Monte Carlos in the mid-80s. Um, he drove in an 83 uh, Monte Carlo that was very similar to that paint scheme. Uh, I want to say for three races. And then, I don't know about 1984, but 1985... Um, I actually just saw it on YouTube uh, not too long ago. Uh, I think it was the Talladega 500. He drove the Miller American Monte Carlo. Uh, I do have the decals. I don't have them to show you right now. They're downstairs, but I'm thinking that's what I'm going to go with. So a lot of there's got to be a lot of red that's got to be on the front of the car that I got to paint yet. That's why I haven't cleared this one when I was doing these other bodies. But I got all the other all the other parts. Are, they're all prepped and ready for paint. Uh, this is actually the Daryl Waltrip Monte Carlo that I am using uh, for this build. But I'm gonna, I gotta do a little more research. I'm not sure what color the chassis is for this Monte Carlo. Um, I'm not, I don't know if it's red or if it's uh, you know the flat black. 
Uh, if I do the 83 car, uh, I'm assuming that it would be flat black. You know, the same with the, you know, the chassis for the uh, the Buick. But I got to figure that out. Uh, I'm not going to concentrate on getting this one done. Uh, the Pontiac and the Buick are going to come together first, followed up by this one here. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to be getting them all done, but uh, later on today I do plan on working on uh, the chassis for uh, these two cars. Uh, I'm going to try to get... Um, you know the the parts for the chassis for this at least in primer today and then that'll be that'll be it for for this kit until i figure out which direction i'm going to go but but there we go guys there's my first update on the 2023 nascar group build